Wouldn't it be great if you could access all of your email in the same email program from any computer? Well, thanks to Gmail, the email service from Google, you can do just that. No matter where you are, as long as you have a computer and an internet connection, you can access all of your email, all of your contacts, anything you've ever sent or received in the same exact email application anywhere in the world. Gmail is comprised of two main services. First, it's an email service, just like the email that probably came with your ISP. You get to choose any name at gmail.com. But unlike its competitors, it also gives you a vast amount of space. So instead of getting 10 megabytes or 100 megabytes, or if you're really lucky, maybe your ISP gave you a gig of space, you get 2.8 gigabytes of space online with Gmail. That's enough for thousands upon thousands of emails. And since everything's online, you never have to go clear your mailbox because your mail quota is full or anything like that. Second, Gmail is a full featured email application. Just like Outlook Express or Apple Mail. But it has one main advantage over those. And that is that it does not reside on your computer. Instead, it resides on the internet, attached to your Google account. You can get it at gmail.com. And this is so powerful because you basically have the same interface you're used to with all your contacts, all your mail, all your sent items, all your attachments, all your filters, everything that you need in a searchable environment available from any computer or any operating system as long as you have an internet connection. I personally use it to manage all five of my email accounts and I use it every day. With that, let's get started. We're going to just cover the basics today. This is an introduction to Gmail. This is the first screen you will see when you log into Gmail. It is very similar to other email programs. It's just a standard inbox view. Any messages that are bold are new. They have not been read. And any items that are not bold have been read. Now the key to understanding the messages that come to your inbox is understanding the conversation system. If you have sent an email to someone or someone sent an email to you and you responded back, you have more than one email exchange in the same topic. This is called a conversation. You can see I've got one conversation in the middle here. You can see I'm talking to Garrett. This is me. And this message is from Garrett. We've had a total of three exchanges so far. So what's nice about this is Gmail automatically groups them together so that we understand that this is an ongoing conversation. Um, once you get used to this concept, it's actually very intuitive and it helps you focus on what you guys are actually trying to talk about. You can see the order of the conversation moving down. This is the latest one that came to me just now from Garrett. The first message is at the top, and if I click it, it'll unroll and I can see what, what it was that originally started this conversation. Next, I had replied, and then here Ed followed up again. So the conversation view just allows you to stay focused on the current topic without having to you know, look through a bunch of dates to figure out when the last email was or whatever. Now, there's a couple ways that I could reply to this email. I can simply click the reply button or I can just click on this blank space down here and I can send him a response. And once you've written a response, you just click the send button. If you click the save now button, it'll put in your drafts and you can finish the email later. Okay, so now it's added my message to the exchange. Now, if I wanted to find this conversation later, you can see it automatically updated it. Anytime I see this conversation, now there's been four exchanges. If he were to respond again, there would be five. So this conversation system just keeps track of things and automatically groups them so that it makes sense. Now, a good way to use the inbox is to keep it clean. Um, one way to keep it clean is simply to archive things. If you're looking at a series of emails, you can check off as many as you want and hit the archive button. 
that takes them out of your inbox. You can always recover your mail later by checking the All Mail button. You can see there's the message that I moved. Now another way to find it down would be simply to do a search for it. Email search is very efficient, so this is a great way to locate conversations and chat logs and things. And you can always get back to your inbox just by clicking his name. The label system is one of the best features in Gmail. You can kind of think of it like a folder system, except for in a folder system, you would drag your emails into a folder to categorize them and organize them that way, um, pulling them out of your main list. Labels are similar, except for instead of removing your email, you attach a label to that email. And the reason this is better is because you can attach multiple labels to one email and those labels can later be used to categorize and group your emails for viewing. So it becomes a very powerful organizational tool. For instance, I've received an, uh, an eBay email here and I get a lot of messages from eBay so I'd like to create a specific label just for my eBay emails. Even if they don't have eBay in the name but I know they're related, I want to be able to use, uh, look inside kind of an eBay folder and see all of my emails related to eBay. So the way you would do this is when you receive an email from eBay like I have here, you would check the box next to it and click the more actions drop down box. Then you can select the new label button and create a new label for your emails. Once it's been applied, you'll see the label show up in green right next to the subject. And you may have several of these when you're using more than one label on an email. But this is great because if you keep doing this for all of your emails that come in from eBay, um, then you can at a later time click any one of your labels, for instance eBay, to see a list of all the emails that are tagged with that. And so in effect it creates a folder for you on the fly, which is very handy. Well, I hope today's episode has encouraged you to give Gmail a try. It's a great email service and a phenomenal email program. If you'd like to learn more about Gmail, check out today's companion guide that came with this video. You can get it at techbytes.com. That's tech-bytes.com. And forward slash Gmail for today's episode particularly. Also, consider signing up for our newsletter, which contains additional tips and tricks and updates for upcoming videos you'll be the first to know when my next episode is released. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Tech Buy.